your governor? Where are you going at this moment of time? I don't really know, to be honest. I'm feeling good. Fish and chips. I'll ask you today, bro. What do you want? Me? Yeah. Mm. I feel like a, a burning, hot, nice little curry. You want a curry? Mm. Okay, I'm gonna drop you off here and get a f***ing taxi and go eat the curry you want. Why okay. did you just ask me what I want to eat? I asked you because I thought you'd say the same as me because I'm the governor. You've been eating too much fish though recently. Well, yeah, You're I have. starting to smell like a fish now. I started to smell like a fish? Bro, you're talking like I eat fish every day. Well, you have been for the past three days. <laughs> I have to be honest. The thing is, you can't go wrong with a sweaty fish. Okay? Um, Especially when it's been cooked properly and uh, you've got a lot of salt vinegar on it. Nah, you're right. To be honest, fish and chips is one of my favourite things to eat and I could have it every single day of the week. So listen, ring a taxi now and I'm going to drop you off here outside Travel Lodge. Call the taxi driver. He's going to be a as well, bro, let's be honest, okay? Go have a curry with him and record him because I want a fish and chips. Next time when I ask you what do you want to eat and I've already told you what I want, you've got to say the same. Now get out and get yourself a taxi. Go get your car okay. with the taxi driver. Yes, people, you just seen what happened. So I'm still on the way to get my fish and chips and I'm going to be recording myself today so it'll be more like a selfie kind of video it is what it is and um, that's what happens when you f*** the governor up Yes, people, I'm in. I've landed. As you can see, the place is behind me. Let me show you. Look at that. Yeah? So we're going to head towards and make our order. Yes, people, I'm just walking over there. I'm going to make my order today. See what I fancy. This is it. Dad's Lane Fish Bar. Yo, what are you doing here? What the... What the f*** is here? Wait, what are you doing here? I came back. Why? I got in the taxi. I thought... Yeah, I need to go to the governor for a fish and chips. I don't blame you there. Good lad. Hold the camera and do your job. Yes, people, so this is the restaurant side, as I've just showed you. And they've got a takeaway side, obviously, that you can just go in and pick up and take it in. It closes at 10 at night. It's only open some days a week, but it's marvellous. Um, everything's vegetarian here, so it's all suitable vegetarians, cooked in separate oils. So if you're like me, where you have halal meat, um, you only eat halal. Um, they cook it separately. Yes, people, the food's here. Just look at that fish, it looks absolutely beautiful. Honestly. Get some lemon. Drizzle that on there. Not too much, where it's overpowering with the lemon. But, has to be done. Now, let's move the fish a little bit closer. And let's grab the salt and the vinegar. And now I'm, I think I might go mental here. Yeah? Let's salt the fish first. Taste it. 
telling me if I went too far. Okay. Now, I'm going to sort my chips as well, I forgot. <laughs> I always go too far. Let's start on with the chips. Wow. They're the best chips I've had anywhere. The potato is so soft inside, honestly guys. It's so soft and they're crispy on the outside. This definitely is a hidden gem. Well, fish and chip shops give you these type of chips here, these little crunchy ones here. You get what I mean? Wow, wow. Let me just move these chips to the side a bit. But I don't think I salted it there. I thought that as well. My instincts always tell me when something's not right. Bismillah. Let's get in with this. And this is Haddock I've got today. Look at that. Now, they've got the fish skin at the bottom, if you look at that inside. They've got a bit of the skin of the fish. Normally, I'm not the biggest fan of that. I used to think it's a local thing near where I live, and they do that there, but they're doing it in Birmingham, and it's the best fish and chip shop in Birmingham, rated. So, they're doing it here, so it must be something. Clean Haddock. Wow. That is lovely. Crispy outer layer. Not foggy at all crispy. And look at that. The way the salt and vinegar hits with that, this is a quality, quality fish, and the batter on here is fire. Look at that. Fresh and hot. We're gonna try the curry sauce now. Look at that. So hot. Lovely, creamy, hot curry sauce. And the flavors are hitting in that curry sauce, honestly. It's the right consistency, if you get what I mean. Look at that. When the curry sauce is too thin, they're not doing the job right. Look at that. Clean, clean, cooked to perfection, haddock. It's literally like, well, I'm eating white, like bloody platinum white gold. Lovely. All you cocaine lovers that like white, try this, it's even better. Honestly, that fish skin there really hits with it. Like, it gives it a unique flavor. Let's try the mushy peas. Really thick. And creamy. You can tell the difference between a homemade peas and the tin peas. This is a homemade peas. I like to salt my peas a little bit. That's me anyway. I salt my peas, I grab a fork, and I literally mix it in. Honestly, what a lovely, lovely fish and chips. I can see why it's rated the best. The fact that you get to eat in, 
this big fish here. I'm telling you, them chips there are insane. I am. I can't emphasize enough how nice they are. And I'm going to give the cameraman some in a minute, obviously. Um, but this is fire. Look at the curry sauce. Mother Hubbards? No chance, you're not competing with this, I'm sorry. This officially is the best fish and chips I've had in Birmingham. Officially. Officially, yeah? Yeah, anywhere. I'm on the hunt now for the best fish and chips in the UK. There's one shop in Blackpool I need to show you a lot. I'll be going there very soon with all the family, okay? That might top this, I don't know. Um, we need to go there, yeah? I've got this fish here, look at it. Look at the size of it. Look at it. Just look at it. Massive. I'm gonna go in with this now because I'm hungry. So let's get in with this. Look at Them peas that are different. Sweet, sweet peas. And when you put a bit of salt on it, it brings the flavour out. I don't know what to say. Honestly, I'm shocked. Look at them. They got crispy, the soggy chips as well. Look at them. What a classic fish and chips. So heartwarming. Amazing. Crunchy, crunchy batter. It's insane. I want everybody to comment down below where is the best fish and chips they've had. But what city I need to come to where for Birmingham this is one of the top out there. Okay, there's no mistake about that. Look at that. If you don't have your fish and chips, with as much vinegar as I had today, you're not doing it right. It's these chips here that I really like. Focus on these chips here, look at them. These crunchy ones here, these little crunchy ones that you get. Well, it's just clean, like, there's nothing I can say about that. Scoop that piece fully. Oh my God.
Do you want some glasses? My... I might just pour a little, a little sipper in there. I'm gonna have okay. to. You know me, got the original Coca-Cola. Let me just check if it's, yeah, GB. This place never had GB, the big problems. That's not first anyway. Put a pint there. <laughs> the little pint. Yeah. Honestly, people, I'm so glad that I've come here today. Classic fish and chips, classic British traditional fish and chips here. Lovely, lovely piece of haddock. There's option of cod. Um, the cod's a little bit smaller than the haddock, so I thought, okay, I, don't, I do like both. I'd rather choose the bigger one. But cod is always meant to be better, but they've got both here. Some people prefer haddock, some people prefer cod. I prefer both, I'm not bothered really, what's what. But this here is doing some damage. Look at that, just look at that. Oh my god, wow. Honestly people, come down, check this out. Dad's laying fish bar. And the air is a classic anyway, they all know about it. I think it is up there. How clean the fish is, the chips. The chips are one of the best I've had anywhere. I've never had better chips than that in my life anywhere. The peas is top tier, the curry is top tier. This is overall for me a 9.9 out of 10. Nothing's beating that, really. I mean, you just never know, do you? Okay, I'm not checking the whole of England out there. But for a traditional British fish and chips, it is the best of that. As simple as that. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the like. Share it to all your family and friends. And comment down below where you want me to go next. What you want me to try. Because I think there's obviously a lot of places out there yeah, that I need to try. Or that I need to violate. You never know. But yeah, we'll go. We'll check it out. But for now, best fish and chips in Birmingham. And you, next time, you want a curry. Okay, and you were the food governor, and when the governor tells you he wants something, you've got to say you want the same, otherwise it ruins my mood. And at the end, you landed here anyway, because you wanted the fish and chips. So I ran, you? I ran back. You ran back? Where? From, um, I got out the taxi, we were on the HDA. Where was he taking you? To Derby. I, okay. felt, like, I felt like a curry from there, but okay. then I thought, forget it, I just got out the taxi and I started running so back. So you run from Derby to here? Well, not not from Derby. On, okay. the, on the motorway. On the motorway. Are run. you on the motorway? Run. Yeah, that's it. Pure nitty. But here's what it is. <laughs> the sacrifice you had to take. And um, you've done well. I'm happy with you. You're a loyal cameraman. And that's what I appreciate. Just for that, you're getting a pay rise. An extra £800 a month. So it's still 3,000, you're only 3,800. Can't go wrong with that. You work for Bugatti, they won't give you that. Everyone, I want you to subscribe, man. I'm on what? 1.6K followers? Like, the governor, 1.6K, what are you lot playing at? Okay, I'm wrong, straight up. If I didn't like it, I'd say it to them, I'd go there and say to them, look, record me. Are you recording me? I'd go there, right now, with my loud voice tone. I would say, look, mate, honestly, your fish and chips is rated the best, but it's and vile. I'll be honest here, you need to focus on this, that, I'd say it to them nicely, but but there's nothing they can improve on. Simple as that. Fire. I'll see you on the next one. More fish and chips coming.
Stay active.